more than tolerable, I suppose, although nothing to the comforts of home. The officers are housed, too, to a two-room apartment, so we have a bit of privacy. I have been assigned to live with another lieutenant, a fellow named Rokesby. He is the son of an earl, if you can believe that. From Thomas Harcourt to his sister Cecilia. Edward fought to breathe. His heart felt as if it were trying to claw its way out of his chest, and all he could think was that he had to get off this cot. He had to figure out what was going on. He had to... Stop! Cecilia cried, throwing herself on him in an effort to keep him down. You must calm yourself. Let me up, he argued, although some tiny rational part of his mind was trying to remind him that he didn't know where to go. Please, she begged, transferring her weight to her grip on each of his wrists. Take a moment. Catch your breath. He looked up at her, chest heaving. What is happening? She swallowed and glanced about. I think we should wait for the doctor. But he was far too agitated to listen. What day is this? he demanded. She blinked, as if taken off guard. Friday. The date! he bit off. She didn't answer right away. When she did, her words were slow, careful. It is the twenty-fifth day of June. Edward's heart started pounding anew. What? If you will only wait, it cannot be. Edward shoved himself into a more upright position. You are wrong. She shook her head slowly. I'm not wrong. No, no. He looked frantically about the room. Colonel, he yelled. Doctor, anyone. Edward, stop, she cried, moving to block him when he flung his legs over the side of the bed. Please, wait for the doctor to see you. You there, he ordered, pointing a shaky arm toward a dark-skinned man sweeping the floor. What day is it? The man looked to Cecilia with wide eyes, silently asking for guidance. What day is it? Edward said again. The month. Tell me the month. Again, the man's eyes flicked to Cecilia's, but he answered, It is June, sir. End of the month. No, Edward said, falling back to the bed. No. He closed his eyes, trying to force his thoughts through the pounding in his skull. There had to be a way to fix this. If he just concentrated hard enough, focused on the last thing he could remember, he snapped his eyes back open and looked straight at Cecilia. I don't remember you. Her throat worked, and Edward knew he should be ashamed of himself for bringing her so close to tears. She was a lady. She was his wife. But surely she would forgive him. He had to know. He had to understand what was happening. You said my name, she whispered, when you woke up. I know who you are, he said. I just don't know you. Her face trembled as she rose to her feet, and she tucked a lock of her hair behind her ear before clasping her hands together. She was nervous. That much was easy to see. And then the most disjointed thought popped into his head. She didn't look very much like that miniature her brother carried about. Her mouth was wide and full, nothing like that sweet, mysterious half-moon in her portrait. And her hair wasn't golden either, at least not the heavenly shade rendered by the painter. It was more of a dark blonde, rather like Thomas's, actually, although not quite as shot through with brass. He supposed she didn't spend as much time in the sun. You are Cecilia Harcourt, aren't you? he asked, because it had just occurred to him she had never actually confirmed this fact. She nodded. Yes, of course. And you're here, in New York? He stared at her, searching her face. Why? He saw her eyes flick toward the other side of the room, even as she gave her head a little shake. It's complicated. But we are married. He wasn't sure whether he'd said it as a statement or a question.
more than tolerable, I suppose, although nothing to the comforts of home. The officers are housed, too, to a two-room apartment, so we have a bit of privacy. I have been assigned to live with another lieutenant, a fellow named Rokesby. He is the son of an earl, if you can believe that. From Thomas Harcourt to his sister Cecilia. Edward fought to breathe, 